What's going on, people? How you doing? TK coming at you. Long day. But wanted to hit you guys with the concept of not waking up and holding on to Stockholm Syndrome <clears throat> because you love your master and you love Rome. <clears throat> and uh, I just want to drive that shit home a little bit further because people will fight you if you try to wake them up. They like the lies that they've been told and they don't want to hear anything contrary to what has been pre-established in their life and what Rome has initiated in terms of branding them as chattel property. You know, if you, if you look at Unum Sanctum policy and the Doctrine of Discovery, one holy church says that they have eminent domain. And then the Doctrine of Discovery says that they're entitled to rule the many, the, the few are entitled to rule the many, and that conquered lands really dictate conquered people. You know, so you become property, you become a part of their brand and people don't get it people don't get the fact that if you are a conquered chattel property if you are a 14th amendment citizen you don't understand and your mind is not capable of understanding that you're not entitled to rights your rights are stipulated to you by the fucking people that conquered you the corporation that pretends to be government actually dictates to you has jurisdiction over you and they determine what your rights are they're called the christian black codes so whether you want to refer to it as noir codes or christian black codes or the negro uh, codes that's what determines your rights when you're conquered by the roman catholic cure system so, as a brand, they stamp their conquered property. And people love to be slaves, but yet they don't have the, the mental capacity to understand that as a slave, you have no fucking rights. And they're dictated to you by the conquered organization and body that controls your life. So it really blows me away that um, so many people don't have the fucking mental capacity to understand what actually is taking place within this land. You have a corporation that pretends to be government and then you have a church that stands above that corporation and dictates who and what and how and all the five W's. And then you walk around here marching and praying and talking about your beliefs when life has nothing to fucking do with that. But you can't wake up these slaves. You can't fucking say anything to them. If you do, they actually get upset and they get violent. And then they start protecting their master because they're a house nigger. And house niggers want to protect master at all costs. Because, you know, they like the state they get in the house. But you, you can't fucking fathom that your entire problems is because you are not descendable you know we don't have a fucking clue that status in law is the first determination in terms of what you're entitled to rights and privileges are primarily based on your status in law so people think status has to do with what type of material things you have when status is about your estate and whether or not you're eligible to manage your estate and whether or not you're eligible to do, uh, whether, whether you can extend your estate to your children. So I tried to break down payment because there's so many concepts that people just can't fucking understand and it blows me away. Payments. Oh, I made my payment. When you don't fucking understand money and you can't grasp that everything is credit on an electronic ledger so you never fucking make any payments. Every time I try to break that shit down, people don't fucking get it. It goes right over your head like if I'm talking to a fucking rock 
this wall behind me will grasp it better than you can fucking grasp it. And it blows me away that the primary concept of paying things goes over people's head because you can't accept the fact that what you call money isn't fucking money. That's fiat. That's deemed by decree debt note, unsigned check, promissory that's issued by a private service corporation. So your primary misconcept is that the fiat is issued by the government when the government is non jure. The government is a service corporation. So the fiat is issued by a service corporation that pretends to be government, and you can't fathom that, nor will you ever fucking accept that. So you think you're making payments, but you can't make payments with a debt instrument. So if you can't make payments with a debt instrument and you're making payments with a debt instrument, you're actually making discharges. And your discharges are just nothing but electronic ledgers that record minuses and subtractions. And you can't fucking understand that. So all of your payments is considered de dantes because within estate law, a debt instrument can't pay for something of value. So you're considered postponing, setting off, discharging with what you think is money and explaining that goes right over your head like a speeding jet I made my payments I got my money and you have no clue that slaves are not allowed to touch money slaves are not allowed to own property so you talk about buying a house you never buy a house you're, you're a sharecropper you're a renter you're a tenant you have a landlord and the mortgage indeed is not made out to you because you're using another man's name so because you're not existing in your proper person that house never fucking belongs to you it belongs to the surname that you're operating under and when he feels like taking it he can take it at any given time because you're still using debt notes thinking you're paying but you can't stuck fucking understand payments so you, you think you're making payments on your fucking house that you don't own, that you're renting, you're a sharecropper, you're a tenant. And it says it in the 30-page mortgage that you fucking don't understand because that's an adhesion contract that's made against you from the moment you sign it. So you don't understand the state and trust, so you think you bought the house, but you're really renting the house from the surname or the man that you are operating in because that's not your name that can't be traced to your lineage and your ancestry it's probably traced to another man's country so because that man is not american and not native to this country that's where that house is going to be traced to and that's who truly owns it and because you're not using money to make payments you're using debt instruments the payments are just considered gifts so you never made any payment all they did is set it off and then they discharge the gifts an electronic ledger just to pacify you and then when they want to take the property they can come take the property and that's exactly what the fuck they do and that's why you never own anything and that's why your people are subjugated and guess what generational wealth is never passed on because you're not operating your proper person but if then if somebody tries to explain it to you tell it to you you get arrogant belligerent and hold on the master's leg so here we go with this circle circle jerk but what does it boil down to it boils down to the fact that things now are changing things now are accelerating to the point where the roman system that you refuse to wake up from is falling apart so even though you can't seem to understand that you're not making payments that you're actually being cheated and that you're being lied to it doesn't matter because the entire system in its own itself is falling on its head and turning into an implosion system so the system's going to implode on itself and you will still be holding on to the system's leg and asking everybody, I don't understand. Why is it that this and that? And maybe in the process, a lot of people might lose their life because of the inability to wake up, inability to comprehend, inability to let go of Roman's leg. So that's where we are right now. And I hope by summarizing it in a simple simplistic format somebody wakes the fuck up but then again i'm probably wasting my time so peace